And this video is going to be a quick little rundown on what we completed through part 1 through 14. Now currently, we have everything replicated. We have our crosshair in the center, and when we press right mouse button, our aiming system takes care of that for us, as well as everything gets replicated through driven events. We also have the ability to switch optics like so, and do this on the fly while all being replicated. And everything has smooth interpolation as well. So this, we now have the foundation to really build interesting features upon it, such as the ability to reload while aiming through additive animations, just like how we have right here, the ability to shoot, as you can see through the crosshair, all through additive animations, so that way no matter what crosshair we are looking through, or what optic we are looking through, we will always have the same kind of recoil played through it. Now that's going to give us, like I said, the ability to add a couple things like reload animations, reload while aiming, and we can go even farther than that and add a system for when we're aiming and we're moving. We can have some weapon sway when we're just normally aiming. We can have different type of sway based on a multiplier. And same thing, we can have dynamic recoil, so we can have code-driven recoil instead of it being driven by an animation like it is now. So that way we could have other features similar to how Escape from Tarkov works where different attachments give you different results when it comes down to recoil. So that pretty much covers everything we've done from part 1 through part 14. And this is mostly just kind of a little advertisement, a little teaser, but there will be more to come and hopefully these series will be done sometime next week. So.